So here's a little tip for you. If you want to detect whether the users on your site are using a touch device, so for example, if they're using a mobile device that they can interact with your site or app uh, using their fingers, uh, and I'm going to show you how you can do this using a simple bit of JavaScript code, and then I'll tell you why you shouldn't do this. So uh, let's set up a variable saying is uh, touch supported. And this will just be a Boolean uh, that's going to be a result of the expression that we're going to use to check whether the particular browsing device uh, actually has touch support. So we're going to check in here for the on touch start property uh, and just check if that's actually in the uh, global window object. Uh, and if that's true, then they should the user should have the ability to uh, handle touch events. But also we might want to check in another part of our global space, uh, which is the window.navigator just to be explicit here, so window.navigator, uh, and then there should be a, a property in there called max touch points, and that's only available for devices that have uh, touch enabled. Uh, so we'll save that into a variable, and then we'll just uh, put a simple if statement here to test that that's working. So we'll say if touch is supported, and uh, just console.log uh, touch is supported. Uh, and if it's not, then we'll just have a simple else statement here saying console.log, uh, touch is not supported. Okay, so if we run that now in Chrome, in the browser that we've got open here, so obviously on my Mac, uh, this shouldn't be a touch device. Uh, so we're getting the message in the console here saying touch is not supported uh, because these uh, this condition here that we've got for checking for the on touch start property in the max touch points in Navigator, uh, that, that is returning false. However, in our Chrome DevTools, if we flip to a responsive mobile view, so this should emulate the fact that touch is supported. So if you just reload the page, uh, you can see now we get the message saying that uh, touch is supported. So we know this condition, uh, this Boolean variable that we've saved here is actually now true. So you can use this to detect whether the user has touch support, uh, but you shouldn't do this uh, for two reasons. First is uh, this code isn't consistent. Uh, it may vary from browser to browser and from device to device. So you're not really guaranteed to get an accurate answer to say whether the user definitely has touch support. And second of all, you probably shouldn't be uh, customizing behavior based on uh, a specific platform. Uh, you should try and make everything as accessible as possible uh, and consistent as possible with your design and layouts and so forth. And ensuring that all interactions behave the same uh, no matter what device it's accessed from. So I hope you found that useful. That's it for today's tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.